<laughs> Hi there, Salami. Did you miss me? Hi, Dad. Oh, my lord. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Uh, oh, have you seen Mutton? No. Butter or jam? That's strange. He's not in his basket, and he hasn't eaten anything. Hmm, that's true. I haven't seen him all day. Uh, butter or jam? Mutton? Don't worry. He can't be far. I'm going to look for him. He must be somewhere in the house or in the garden. Mutton? Mutton! Butter or jam? Mutton! Mutton! You're kitty, 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 kitty! Get out the racket. We're trying to get some sleep. Don't worry, Elliot. He'll be back. Go to bed now. This is the first time he's been gone for so long. I'm telling you, he'll be back. He's probably having a chat with a kitty friend. He's lost track of time, that's all. Sleep now, Elliot. Mom, Dad, Mutton still hasn't come home. Elliot, this isn't the first time Mutton hasn't come home. You should get dressed and play with Mimi. That's strange. The postman hasn't come yet. What's this? A flyer about a missing cat. See? What if all the cats in the world have disappeared? We'll never find Mutton. Listen, Elliot, if it'll make you feel better, why don't you make a flyer for Mutton? Jade will help you put them up on the street. I'm sure he'll be back very soon. Don't worry, Elliot. With all these beautiful drawings, we'll find Mutton's tail for sure. His trail! <laughs> of course! Mimi, you're a genius! Oh, really? You think so? That's the first time anyone ever told me that. Once Salami catches a whiff of Mutton's cushion, he'll be able to help us find Mutton's trail. Go on, Salami. You're a real police dog. <laughs> Is that what police dogs do? <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> Look, he's found a trail! <laughs> Wait for me. Salami! Salami? Oh, no! Over there! Look! Those are the feathers from Mutton's pillow! Whose house is this? I don't know. Do you think Salami and Mutton are inside? I don't know, but it really smells good! Wait! It could be a trap. If Mutton and Salami are being held prisoner in this house, then whoever lives here must be really bad. Maybe, but it sure does smell really good. It's a trap to draw you in, Mimi, like the animals. inside. It eats animals and maybe children, too. Oh, what are you talking about? A very nice little old lady lives here. I know her. She used to run a bakery in the neighborhood. Hello, Mrs. Sorry to disturb you, but... Have uh... you seen salami and mutton? Oh, you're so sweet, but I don't eat mutton or salami at this hour. It's snack time. I've just made some waffles. Would you like to try one? All right, but quickly, because we got to find a cat that ran away. Yeah, waffles. You can tell me what you think of my waffles. I'm just happy there's no monster living here. Monsters don't know how to make waffles. Huh? Hey, did you see these? 
Wow! Look at these miniature animals! Aren't they cute? Mutton! Salami! What? What did you say? Miniaturize! Nesson is holding us prisoner! You're in danger! She'll surely try to miniaturize you, too! The waffles are ready, children! <laughs> Elliot, are you coming? Uh, yes, we're coming. Oh, I'm losing my head. I forgot the powdered sugar. <laughs> Mutton, salami, and all the animals in the neighborhood have been shrunk by the old lady. Even the postman! My mom said he didn't deliver today. That's because he's being held prisoner here. Now, shrunk? Yes, like the boat over there. Oh, you're right, Elliot. Oh, you're looking at my husband's boat. It's beautiful, isn't it? My dear old Jules, he loved waffles too. <laughs> That's horrible. How about a little magic sugar, children? Yeah, mm. Magic sugar, that's it! It's magic sugar that shrinks people! What's gotten into you? Come over here. What in the world's wrong with you? Aren't my waffles any good? Oh, never mind. No problem at all, and I have plenty of sugar. Oh, hello, postman. <laughs> a package for you. Thanks. Would you like a waffle with some sugar? No, thank you. I'm running late on my deliveries. Did you see? The postman was his normal size again. Uh. It's a present from my cousin Gertrude. She loves little figurines, too. That magic sugar shrinks people if you eat it, and it makes you grow when you're covered with it. That means we can save salami, mutton, and all the other animals in the neighborhood. Someone's got to keep the little old lady from leaving the kitchen. Must have been hungry. I'll make some more waffles. Go, Mimi. We'd love to, but we better get going. If you'd like, I can help you. Oh, how sweet of you, honey. All right, but not too long. I'd say you need more sugar for a giraffe than for a cat. Yes, but we've got to keep some magic sugar. There are lots of animals. Hey, what are you doing there? Uh, Stop that right now. Children, have you seen my sugar shaker by any chance? Now, where are those children? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I see. They want to play hide and seek. That's so sweet, you little rascals. Uh, oh, where are you? Children, come out, come out. Wherever you are. Elliot, Kate is that you? I don't think I was able to keep the old lady's attention. Uh, is someone in there? <laughs> you little rascal! She's going to shrink us. I don't want to end up in the glass cabinet. I'm going to get you! <laughs> You'll never get out of here! The sugar! It worked! Oh, these little darlings are yours! You have no right to miniaturize them and keep them at your house! What's that? Don't be silly. Of course I don't keep them. Some stay longer than others. I think your cat likes my cooking. <laughs> Come 
Come now, my little mischief makers. Have a waffle. Uh, can I have my waffle with chocolate? Me, Me too. too. 